everyone, it's Tresene with Indie Metro here with Emily Hooksima. We're going to talk about her story of giving generously last year. Thank you so much for joining us today, Emily. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So why don't we talk about um, your decision to give? So everyone has their come to Jesus moment when it came to doing the pledge last year. Why don't you tell everyone kind of what sparked you to increase your giving last year? So my parents have always taught me to give, um, but this last year I started teaching at a faith-based ministry. So it's a lot of work and not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes it was almost tempting to think, oh, well, my work is like enough giving on my part. But um, hearing the stories of other people giving and seeing like what God can do with our money is what changed. So did you see God show up for you during this time of giving? Yes, um, he definitely showed up for me through people like my parents, my roommates, and my church. Um, one example is this last summer, my house actually got broken into, and um, people from the church came and they, they helped me board up the windows, they helped me fix and secure my front door, and actually saved me like almost like a thousand dollars. Could you tell everyone maybe how um, giving more generously this year had maybe stretched you or um, grown you in your spiritual journey? Uh, like I said, I've always known that I'm supposed to give, but um, this year I, I feel like I've, I wasn't really excited about it before, but now I feel like I can be excited about giving. I can, when I think about what God can do with my money and how I can like reflect God's generosity towards me, that helps like change my attitude about giving. And with that, I'm Tresene with Indie Metro, and we'll see you next time.